Okay guys, I'm going to pop her up and then we'll take a tour of the inside and see what she looks like now. into a hole that's in the actual body of the trailer and the bent end goes in this hook you have to kind of push up on the bed and get in the way you said bent in was kind of like the way people say button it's very important oh god when people say important like that it drives me freaking crazy while John's doing that, I'm going to take you guys over here and show you a restore that I've been working on before I started, or before we picked up the camper. Not that I need, you know, another restore. Oh my God, I, we're so close! Um, not that I need another restore package, or not that I need another restore project. Wow, I just woke up. Coffee. So, <coughs> as many of you know, a couple years ago, uh, before we moved here, I sold our kayaks and bought a canoe. As I'm getting older, it's a lot harder to load two boats than it is to load one boat. So I bought this canoe. She's an 18-foot Osagan. Uh, you might not have heard of the brand, but it's made here in Missouri. And the reason why I bought it is because uh, I was familiar with this boat, not this specific one, but um, these are the boats that were rented out at the Merrimack Caverns. So I knew how well they were made and how they float. Give you an idea, look at this. This is, this aluminum is so firm on this and thick that, that you can't even push it in with your hands. Whereas the newer aluminum boats flex like a damn pop can. So it was all kind of this gunmetal oxidization color. I decided that I wanted to get the boat to a mirror finish, so I've been polishing the boat to get it to that point. So, as you can see, um, it's starting to get, take shape. And um, I'm hoping that once I get it done, that uh, when I'm out on the water, it'll be pretty impressive. I can put up to a five horsepower engine on it. We've got an electric trolling motor that pushes the boat pretty well. And then John bought me uh, for Christmas last year, <coughs> and I haven't set it up yet, um, a uh, Hankai uh, 3.5 horsepower engine. And, um, you know, I'm hoping to have the uh, boat finished and numbers on it by the end of summer. If you guys have never seen flowers on lettuce before, this is what romaine lettuce looks like when it's flowering. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. And then our birds are over here being mother cluckers. And John's taking a break from working on the trailer. So I should probably give him a hand. thing about it is is um the, this thing was totally filthy dirty when we bought it 
and then when we got it home and started cleaning it up it was like unbelievable how um, how clean it is for being a friggin 30 year old camper okay I mean the canvas for the most part is in immaculate shape there's a couple small little tears that need to be patched but only like two and she's a big camper how big is it John I forget uh, opened up from end to end is 16 feet 2 inches and I'm not sure of the width I'm going to say it's probably six and a half feet, six feet, six and a half feet. I'm six feet tall, so that's probably six and a half feet. Those are my exact measurements. He's taller than six foot people. A lot. He can barely fit on the bed. Like, more than likely when we camp out, unless unless Giggity is, is about to go down. <laughs> um, oh my god, Giggity. Giggity. We'll have to sleep on alternate beds because John will have to lay catty corner to be comfortable on this bed. Actually, I can lay sprawled out on the couch comfortably, which is nice. So what we're going to do today is we're going to, we are going to change out this ugly linoleum. Uh, we're not going to take it out. We're just going to ply right over it. And we're not going to take any of the furniture out because um, it's too much work. That's a lot of work. You start getting into projects like that with uh, uh, this old of a of a recreational vehicle, and you run into some serious problems because shit could break. There could be a weak spot or a soft spot somewhere you didn't know. However, um, I noticed when uh, on the title that the title was a salvage title but uh, so I think that the guy I bought this off of the guy that had it before him probably bought it from a junkyard and restored it um, or fixed it up a little bit because it's pretty amazing that shape that a lot of the uh, bits of this camper are in like the the cushions for the couches and the uh, mattresses According to what I can find online, these are the original fabrics, and they're in amazing shape. And as much as I don't always like the fiber, board, wood, paper <laughs> furniture, uh, this is actually light enough grain and in good enough shape where it looks really nice, but we're still debating on whether or not we're going to paint those. Now, our refrigerator is not a refrigerator. It is just an ice box. Um, and that literally is in the sense of the word, like, it's a cooler. So, this big bucket is for your ice, and it's got a hole in it and a tube that runs down to the bottom, so you just fill it with ice, maybe put a couple ice packs in there and it keeps everything cold. We'll have to test and see if a 1990 ice box is efficient as a Yeti. Um. It, I think it'll work pretty well though and it seals up really good so the gasket's fine it should work pretty well but like that's fine for us because even when we're down at the tiny house we don't typically take um, we don't have a fridge at the tiny house we we use uh, a uh, Ozark trail cooler and that holds ice for seven days and we're never at the cabin more than three or four so I imagine it's going to be pretty much the same for this except for we are going to use this to kind of travel a little bit and in fact we're going to try to use this to get out to see some of you guys you know we were supposed to go see Larry at Lawson Woods at he's no longer at the micro tiny house he now has a full size though so um but we were going to go out to uh, Washington State and see him, and now we can do that. Now we can do that, and um, we also uh, could go out to the Vermont area and see Derek Diedrichson at one of his tiny house conventions or summer camps. And there's some water damage right there on the canvas, but not too bad. But overall, 
And I imagine people at like a tiny house convention would get a kick out of a restored, refurbished, um, 30-year-old camper. Yeah. 